What's going on guys, this is Burrs. I wanna to talk to you today about these really cool merino wool base layers. They're made by Rafa, and it's actually a company that focuses solely or mainly on cycling, which is interesting. But I found these as far as going through and looking for some merino wool base layers, and I wanted to get a feel for a bunch of different base layers out there. Found the company, found the website, kind of did some research, and I found these are actually a really awesome base layer to use in backpacking pretty much every day. Now I've been using these base layers, uh, well, as you can see, one's short sleeve, one's long sleeve. I've been using these in many different uh, ways. I've been using it backpacking, I've been using it working out, and I've just been using it as an undershirt just uh, every day. Now as you can see, they're relatively uh, see-through transparent-ish almost. You can kind of see uh, you know, my hand through the uh, shirt here. Uh, and that led me, when I got these in the mail, that led me to, to think that this wasn't really gonna, you know, last very long. And I've washed, you know, each of these, I don't know, at least 10 times each, and wore them many different times out in the wilderness, uh, working out. I wear this almost every time I work out underneath of a t-shirt, just to kind of, you know, stay warm. I found that, you know, they're nice and soft, like I said, but they, they last a while. And through many washings, you know, even being as thin as what this is, it's lasted and you can see the fibers, there's no fraying, there's, there's really nothing going on, um, even on the seams here and on the stitching that has me concerned at all. And, you know, that's one thing that stuck out, you know, I was probably thinking about this about a few weeks ago, and I was thinking, you know, I've this is definitely something I always grab, uh, these base layers, particularly the long sleeve one, uh, I always grab this base layer because it's comfortable, uh, fits well, and there's definitely some cool things that are built into uh, this base layer that we're going to talk about. One of the first things is where the seams are on the back here. You can see that the shoulder seam isn't up around the shoulder, and let me explain. You can see on another shirt here, which I'm going to talk about as far as odor goes with synthetics, you can see that this has a very uh, steep angle to it as far as down and away from the shoulder area. This comes out a little bit further um, and it's not as um, steep. So when you're using your backpack this will actually rub against the shoulder strap. What I noticed with this base layer is um, this doesn't run across where the shoulder strap is so you don't have this seam even though it is minimal rubbing against the shoulder strap like you would with some other companies. And that's one thing they thought of for cycling. I'm not really sure how or, or how that applies to cycling because uh, I don't ride bikes for a living. But I did notice that this does apply to backpacking and when you use um, you know, backpack, rucksack, uh, or what have you. So let's take a closer look at this. We'll look at the um, hand area here, or the wrist area. You can see the seams there, nice and uh, straight. You can see the materials and how well after, I mean, a minimum of 10 washes, it's probably been through 15 washes by now. I've been wearing these like crazy. Um, you can see down here on the bottom where the, the tag right here. Now the one knock I will give this shirt, and I didn't know this, um, this is made in China, amazingly. I wasn't really, I didn't really think something that's 100% merino will be made in China, but it is. And I was really, really gonna knock the shirt for that, uh, given the price, uh, but I actually went on the website today uh, just to gather some information and I saw that they actually lowered the price $20 a shirt. Still being made in China is not something that I'm going to promote but I mean the shirt performs so I can't really say that it doesn't perform, it doesn't last. I mean these shirts have been through uh, a lot of use and they are definitely bomb proof and something I'm always wanting to use when uh, when I go out in the outdoors and whenever I'm using them. You can see here on the bottom it actually has that bottom part in the back that kind of comes down a little bit, kind of like a little tail or, or what have you. So that's definitely cool as far as using it for backpacking because it definitely will keep the wind you know, out. Say you have this uh, shirt tucked in, it'll keep the back tucked in when you're moving around or you're, or you're bending over and going through some, some terrain, what have you. It'll keep that in there so that you don't have a breeze uh, coming up your back, etc. So that's definitely a cool feature as well. The one thing I really didn't like, and I actually kind of I tore it off of both of these, is on the top here. You can see that there was a tag right here, and there was a tag that came down the front right here that said Rafa, and it was very reminiscent to this tag right here. But it was right down the front of the shirt, and I wasn't a fan of that. So I actually uh, took a knife and kind of cut out the stitching and then cut the top here off, um, just because it suited me better. 
So I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> But uh, the rest of the shirt is, is bomb proof. I can definitely say that I've used it, it works well, and um, it's definitely something I'm always grabbing. So this is something I definitely say, if you were looking to get a merino wool base layer, uh, something that's not itchy, something that's lightweight, um, that you can use as a base layer. And, and the thing with base layers of wool is, I've definitely moved to them over something like uh, this Ex Officio, um, just a synthetic, it's made out of polyester, I believe. Yeah, polyester. Uh, spandex. You know, you're gonna wear this one time and you're gonna smell like a troll. You're just gonna smell disgusting because what happens with synthetics is they absorb odors. With wool, you don't have that issue as far as, you know, the materials themselves and the fabrics last a lot longer under duress with when it comes to odors than what you would with this is uh, synthetic. So that's one thing you definitely have to look into when you're looking to purchase uh, base layers and shirts in general. So if you guys are looking for a cool base layer uh, this year, they make short sleeve, long sleeve, I definitely would take a look uh, at these. I'll put the link down below to where they are. And I would recommend you size up one uh, size. I'm usually a large, this is an extra large because I believe they are of European cut, but they're not as European as you buy surplus stuff and it's like super, super small. So I just say size up one size is which I, what I did. Uh, and it worked well for me. So if you guys are looking for a cool base layer, check it out. I'll put the link down below. If you guys have any Rafa stuff, uh, if you would, go ahead and put it in the comments down below on how it's worked for you. Um, until next time. Now, like I said, I've been using these in a lot of different, you know, situations. Situations.